Before we begin, let me put down. This is actually an invitation, an effort to participate in living out the best life possible. That's the intent behind it. I hold true to this statement and I know the people who work with Master hold true. It is not about creating an idea, an ideology, selling you a, a version of the speaker, how life should be and all that. In a very simplified form. Actually, I was inspired by this because an old student came to see me, hasn't seen me for two years because of COVID, he dropped by. And he was writing and telling me a lot of his realization and what has happened. And he said, Master, thank you for helping me to struggle to live the best version of me. And I was very taken by that statement. Why I'm saying this is so important, this doesn't happen, you know. I know you might think, yes, you're trying to live the best version of you, but that's not true most often. We are living out ideas, ideals, how it should be. And I'll quote him a little bit, it's worth quoting. He said, he's not financially doing too well because of the COVID and all that. I said, I'm almost broke, Master, but I'm living the best version of me, Master, I said. And I said, bless you, looks like you have learned something. The external thing is an external thing. A lot of people went broke in this period. But, but he said, I'm living the best version of me. I thought if you don't mind, that I will dedicate today to, to this effort. You see, in order to understand this, you must understand this. You know, people have put ideas onto our head and I'm not blaming them. Somebody has an idea how you should be and how every human being should be. But I'm talking about given the situation, given the limitation and advantages, I'm asking myself the question today, am I living the best version that I can live of me? And how deeply am I dedicated to that? You see, most often we will say, I want to be happy. I want to be peaceful. We say that word, it's a very meaningless word. But for that to happen, I must be living out the best version of me, isn't it? And I'm saying the focus on you living the best version of you is not there. Because most, if you don't mind me a bit forward, are not investing in you. They're asking you to invest in an idea they are carrying. You understand? So in some sense, we all have been subjected to ideas. Again, I'm not saying it's wrong. But I'm talking about the wrong of it. It's like carb, you know, we eat carb. Carb is not wrong, but we must know the wrong of carb, carbs, you know, rice and potatoes and stuff like that. It's not a very limited way of thinking. It's a more broad way of thinking. So the focus on me living the best version of me. And in order to live the best version of me, I must accept my limitation. Based on what people expect out of me. This is what I am. And am I living the best I can? Or they've given us an ideal how we should be. By pursuing the ideal, we abandon who we are. By that, we might not be participating in the best version of what I can be. As I'm growing older a little bit, not too much, just a little, I'm hearing colleagues dying. Those days I used to hear colleagues getting married. I'm like, wow, it's coming to an end for some. This problem, that problem. I don't mean to scare you today. That's not my intention. But this gathering is rather unique. You know, we don't have an ideology. We don't have a philosophy that we want to convert the whole human being into a you know idea. Or does the speaker has any hidden agenda? of being a legend or something amazing, I can't have because I have masters, you know. So to me, my masters will always be more beautiful than me, so I don't bother too much about me. 
It's not about establishing a name or, or an angle. I'm not doing any such thing. This is not a movement as such. And this is rather strange for people in some sense, I'm saying. We have been working and focusing for you to live the best version of you. And many times people can't hear that. They very quickly will ask me, what do you want me to be? I said, it's not what I want you to be. What is the best version of you? And if you hear Master Caffle, this question will be hard to relate. That shows how disconnected you are. Do you mind today if we go into it? It's a little serious, but I think it will be worth. Because the predictability of the outcome of life was thrown out of the, the room, you know. Before COVID, we had so many plans, the governments, the financial institution, and an invisible virus threw us all off. I think the good part of it, it humbled us. But whatever the plan works or doesn't, I think one thing I can be committed, did I live out the best version of me given the situation? Or am I committed to something else? Or have I totally abandoned that? I've bought into an idea. I bought into, they told me if I have this, if I become this, my life will be okay. And by that I abandon what is here. I think there is a fever in the world. Everybody wants to influence everybody. Everybody wants to make everybody similar to everybody. We know the planet exists because of a biodiversity. You know. Without that diversity, life will not exist. So we know every unique creature on earth has a contribution. So we're going to sit together as part of the meditation hour. We're going to pay attention to ourselves and we're going to ask, am I living the best version of me given the situation? Am I participating with living? Or have I abandoned it? Because we know almost everyone we meet has an opinion. They put an idea on us. Maybe you should have your hair long or, or something. But there is a subtle. Or they want to convert you to the belief they have. And somehow if more people believe in what they believe, the belief might become real for them. Silly things like that. Part of meditation, which has been hijacked and made something else by irresponsible people, it is simply giving you a light so that you may wake up to live the best version of you. But right now the best version of you has no value because a different version has been placed upon you. Maybe this should be how things should be. So today, let's wake up to this truth and see. Did I live the best part of me today, given the situation? Did I live the best version of me? Oh, have I been raped by an idea that I should have been like this, I should have been like that? You see, it's like going to the gym, you know, getting a workout. What is a workout? You participate in your body being the best state possible. If you subscribe to that, it's still debatable. But if you go and work out, you cannot tend to stay healthy. You're participating. If you don't work out, you do not participate in the best version of you. Right? It, I'm not talking about self-love, you know. I don't understand that word too much. So can I propose this for you to inquire? The moment I'm sold to an idea, I am going to betray me. I'm not going to pay attention to live the best version of me. Right? I'm going to be investing on that idea. 
And then by investing on that idea, I abandon who I am and I just live out that idea. And I keep banking on that idea. Then I'm not participating. And are we, and, and is this the violent we place on ourselves that we place on another? And one rather get lost. That's, that's how dictators and, and extremists are made. You know, they have an idea and they're they locked into that idea. They don't care. They are a bit inhuman. So the effort that we are undertaking, many of you are masterclass students who are doing the meditation. Remember, it's just a little workout. So you may live the best version of you. It's not giving you an idea. It's, it's not a tool to live out an idea. And for most, they cannot relate with this, you know. So it, it tends to lend oneself to kind of numbing oneself out, not paying attention to what is here, carrying incredible illogical ideas, by then abusing oneself. Incredibly. And by abusing oneself is not a problem. Then we, we become sensitive to abuse and we allow abuse around us. Then we cannot recognize abuse because we have allowed it to ourselves. So today, maybe we will explore slowly if it's possible. Am I participating in waking up to live out the best possible version. To do the best I can. It's like folk music, you know, have you ever heard of folk music? They don't have expensive instruments, but with given the instrument, they make some music, you know, sometimes it's far more honest than the complicated music, but they live the best version of them, right? In the East, there is a practice, you know, you go to temples or holy place or any shrine. You put a light, you put a light, you put a light. They usually have a, a cup made out of mud, mud holder, and there's a wick, some oil and a light. For the longest time, people have been doing it, but the significance is kind of lost. It's actually a representation of you, you know. They consider the body as the mud that will break one day. The oil is our internal prana, the fuel, and then the... The wick is your spine and the light is the third eye. And he said to live the best version of me. Today we begin by asking that question to ourselves. Have I been participating or am I lost to an idea, an ideal? It's just, it happens, you know, when you're with people, they put an idea to you. That will suit them, you know. And then that idea is forced, you know. And very slowly, their idea becomes very real. It's very real, you know, it becomes real. And then it becomes real to you and then you try to be that idea. So if we are watching this for ourselves and for others and for all, if we are watching this, could it be we are not paying attention to this? Isn't it? This is like what happened with GMO and food products, you know. In the rush of producing something cheaper or producing in larger quantity to get greater yield, we kind of messed it up. There's no nutrients in it anymore. You know, just our eyes was on something else. It's not that they were wrong. We wanted to feed the world. We thought we make the we make the tomato ten times bigger, ten times yield. But we woke up to realize, like now, 
the plastic, which was one of the greatest invention at one time, after 50 years, we are going, oops, this might kill us. We cannot miss the point. It's like in a relationship, you know, if, if two people are fighting who's right, the right to divorce will come soon after. Then it becomes about winning. It's not about becoming, being together. You understand? So we are simply sitting together, watching ourselves. We are looking at ourselves. We are paying attention. And we are asking this question. Have I invested in the ego, an idea? Or am I participating? Like Master always, I like somebody who was a writer wrote about Master and then I picked up that word. She wrote, said, he's a boy from a fishing village many years ago, Bhavani. So I used the word, I said. And that's my excuse, I'm doing the best I can. Don't demand too much, I'm trying my best. I'm from a fishing village. Right. I'm trying to live the best version of me. I know according to you, I must be flawless and my language must be perfect and I shouldn't burp publicly. I've had disciples who come to me and say, Master, 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 sit with me. I'm like, no, no, thank you. You go sit. I'm sorry, I don't mean to come rude, but I think I need to emphasize. So I lead. So almost everybody wants to shape everybody. Isn't it? And that is, cannot be avoided. The question again I put, like I think this is the struggle. Master have been participating, Gregory participates, Sandra participates, a lot of the people who do this work, who play a role in people. I think they're trying, like if you see Wendy, she's trying to, the best version of you physically, right? But what has happened is an idea has been sold to us. Like sometimes people ask, why women are like that? I said, have you been a woman before? Do you know how hard that is? You, you can walk through an alley and you have no fear of being raped. In most cases. How do you know? Given the situation. And this has happened in the name of meditation. You know, some guy is a vegetarian or so. Not that he shouldn't be a vegetarian. I think we all have to be a vegetarian to save the earth someday. But some guy has an idea. I am just me. I'm struggling to be me. I have my limitation. I have my abilities. I have some things I can't help it, sir. I am what I am. Maybe if I try hard enough, I can change. But I'm taking it with a limitation, you understand? I'm not forcing anything. I'm asking, can I live out the best version of me? Do you know one of the most disgusting things about love? It claims the right to change another. You can't try to change somebody you hate, sir. When you love, there's almost a demand. And I think that's a vulgarity of love, at least the way that people say it. And many times when we are loved, we want to change because we want to be loved. And then we end up being something. I remember when I was a kid, my mother was an Indian classical dancer or, what, or something like that. And she used to teach and she was asked to me to be in the class. I refused. I think somewhere she said, if you love me, you'll do it. I said, I don't love you that much. It's very difficult Indian classical dance. You have to be built for it, slowly. I'm now borderline rude. I'm not allowed to be this. What does that imply? That I must subscribe to the idea you placed on me? Sir, I'm trying to demonstrate how little we actually participate with living the best version possible, to live the best way I can. There is a delight that I'm participating.
If somebody is angry, we can say it shouldn't be angry. Or we can also say, what is causing the anger? That is also a point. It's like somebody is screaming. It's like the famous tale, you know. An old man was sitting by the river and a guy was drowning. And the drowning guy was shouting, help, help, I can't swim. Help, help, I can't swim. The old man chewing on tobacco said, I also can't swim. Do you hear me screaming about it? So could we break this and, and begin to be kind to what we are? Which is the meditation hour, you know. You're simply sitting, watching yourself, paying attention to what is here. And by that something happens. I suddenly wake up to live the best version given. Yes, I would love to change the situation. But waiting for the change to occur or to make the change, I can still live this situation deeply. So I'm, I'm demonstrating and, and pointing out what is an ego, what is actuality. And I'm also referring to the first right or the first discipline. I'm an effect. I'm an effect on what people said I should be. By that I'm blind to what I am. And if I'm blind to what I am, I must be subjecting another to that too, isn't it? I think rarely we are with anybody that allow us just... Let us be. Let us discover. So today maybe we can pay attention. You know, given all the situation, the complication, given the things that we don't have control over and the things that are overwhelming and huge. What is the best version? Am I living the best way? Am I participating? And the question is, am I participating? It doesn't mean by participating I might be able to, but that's all I have. I can participate. Or am I lost to an idea that somebody sold me and I'm trying to be that? The ancient, if I use the ancient as, because these are all... In modern age, there is no track record. So I have to go back to the ancient time, the 5,000 years history. There are many men who left the earth, you know, left the, the world, not the earth, left the, the world, in a sense. And in order to drop this export expectation, they became sannyas, they became monks, they became mastas, they became just wanderers. What was that wandering about? They dropped the idea so they could rest as who they are. I don't know whether we can afford that. I think it's a violent of men, you know, any man who sit there and said, you should be like this without actually knowing you. It's not a physician, you're a psychiatrist, a doctor, somebody who intimately knows you. I think they're rather violent to, to us. Uh, And then being me is made a sinner. Really? So we, what I'm proposing is to be very kind to oneself, you know, to look upon oneself, not to be rather egoistic. Could this be meditation? Life is beyond perfect, sir. They say the plan is the first thing that fails in war. You know, the first casualty of war is the plan. <laughs> they had a plan. D-Day invasion, if you study all that, it's the first thing that goes to hell is the plan. 
Now what happened? Now I became frightened to be me. I became frightened. I'm scared to be me. Now I want to be anybody other than me. I'm terrified to look at myself, to look at what, how, what I am. Because only when I look at it, I can do the best I can. I can move from there. I used to be, I had an experience in my 20s, I used to speak on a circuit, so a lot of the success speakers, you know, so it was my early introduction to speaking. And I used to go with a lot of these so-called giant successful men. I was just a punk. But somehow I was the assistant, I was with them. I kind of got to know them and I realized they lie. They said, I'm up at six o'clock in the morning and I do this. And I look at him. No, he's getting up at 10. And I found out you guys are, I said, no, 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 we are not lying. That's what they need to hear. I said, that's not what they need to hear. They need to know. He said, I do this. I have my checklist in the morning. Have you heard all these motivational speakers? I do this. I don't do that. And blah, blah, blah. I'm like, what? I believed it. I thought, okay, maybe, maybe I'm the sinner. No? Then I found out. <laughs> wow. But they are tapping into your own idea how you should be. No? So today, feel the body. Feel this. Maybe this can become a meditation for you. And when I say the best version of you, that's the right way to say it. Because if not, you might, you might quit. Many times you try to be somebody and then you quit. You understand? You try to be somebody and when you fail to be that person, you quit. Then you, you just let go. No, no. I'm saying that's wrong. That's, that's just foolish. I'm saying, I'm looking at me and I see my limitation and my advantages and I do the best I can. Like once a guy said to me, Master, I'm not that good looking, you know. I'm not that handsome, I'm not all that. How will I find a girlfriend? I said, I guess work on being a nice guy. That usually goes a long way. You can be a kind, beautiful human being. Try listening to the woman or something. No, maybe those things might work. Because looks don't go that far. And after some time, you really don't remember how somebody looks. You really remember? Maybe ladies do, no? but I don't. Gita will sometimes tell that girl with the brown hair. I'm like, she had brown hair. I didn't. I miss even she had a hair. After some time, you don't know whether the person wear glasses or not wearing glasses. I, maybe it's just me, but I don't know. Only a stranger looks at you, sir. When you have known each other, the knowing looks at each other, you know, the meeting looks at each other. That's why as you get older, your eyesight goes, God was kind, so you miss the wrinkles, you know. I'm trying to be funny, sir, it's a serious subject. So the work we are doing, please, hear Master, hear Master, I put my hand together for this, you know. I put my hand together. There have been people who come to me and try to use this for something. I usually get rid of them. Because this is my own awakening and realization, I realize. That everybody was used for something. I'm not saying you shouldn't be useful, but not in this. And I don't think you can relate to that. I think everyone that has touched you has used you for something of their own. I have nothing of that sort, sir. I'm hoping. You live the best version of it. Like what the guy said today, I wish he made money, but COVID time, trouble, lost money. But he said, thank you to you, I'm living the best version of me, Master. Every day I get up and I'm doing, and I'm doing the best, and I'm having the best life. There's almost a tears in his eyes. I'm like, okay, thank you. I said, thank you. Thank you for telling me that. Not that only when I have money, I'll be successful, do you see? It's ideal, it will be good. But the way he approached it, I was like, wow. I said, amazing, amazing. Did I live the best version of me today? And for that, I must not be bought into this idea that people sell about me. Yes, some romantic man can hold his wife after 30 years and look into her eyes and whisper sweet things. Good for that guy. For the rest of us, she looks into your eyes, you ask, what's going on? Something wrong with my eyes? 
and that's how it's supposed to be after 30 years if your heart is pounding after 30 years being married in the bed you got a doctor now sir but these are the ideal you understand and we buy into it i've met many beautiful people in my life but no one will come close to my grandmother's eyes and she was old and a bit drunk most times we are simply sitting together sir looking at ourselves we are paying attention deep attention to exactly how we are and we are waking up to live the best version now i give you the spiritual component i don't like that word but i'll use it the best version is it the waking of the energy is it the upward flow is it from where it is i wake up i shine i bring light to it and that's up to me if my ego hasn't got the better part of me now in order to give this to you unfortunately you got to offer it to another you understand do we look at somebody else and cheer them on to live the best version of them see i go back to the original discussion we all have been converted to something sir somebody wants to make me a vegan another fellow wants to make me a kugan it's not that you shouldn't be i don't even understand some of those things somebody say i don't take milk or something i'm like good for you i'm like but we are converted to a movement you know what I mean? No, I'm not against it. I'm, I just don't know it. And he think there's there's a certain kind of power. My children, sir, this is honest to God. You know, they have no obligation to agree with me in any way. Nor do I put up anything out there that they must totally agree. They have the capacity to think for themselves. I live my life; they live theirs. They figure it out. and we have been brutalized by that kind of people so there's a young boy came to visit me he, he about 23 yeah is he developed fits there's some kind of medical condition so the father brought us talking to him so must all try to help do what i can then i said i guess you got to live with this now isn't it no more scuba diving for you no more because he can get any time i said i know a lot of people who have it but they, they live a normal life but it's your condition now let's see what we can do from there but with that fit he might not be able to drive a car he might not be able to do many things they're going to doctors they're trying but he's getting it and i said okay before we cure before you find a cure and we're going to find a way for you to live the best version of you right Stephen Hawkins probably remind us of that. Right. So So can I point out something sir there are cruel people sir who create ideal and pretend they are ideal and by that ask you to deny you and by that rob you living the best version of you and by that subjecting you to something and that's their ego fulfillment you know to make you betray you. To they ask you how deeply are you participating living the best version of you if you say i am participating in the living the best version of you your energy starts flowing that's the upward flow of energy the kundalini the chakras and all that you don't even have to know it then you wake up to live the best version of what you can live out in reality like as, as much as many books i don't know why i advertise this thing with you guys but as much as i've written so many books 
I will not be able to write it if there is no spell check and Gita. I always have to have somebody next to me. Can you spell this for me? Can you spell? My kids will do it just like that. They know. They don't even condemn me. This is how you spell it. Pa. They don't even say you should take up spelling. I'm too old. Sometimes I'll think of a word. I don't know how to spell. Then I have to find an alternate word. You understand? Well, that's my condition. What do you want me to do? Right? Slowly, sir. I'm not talking this for you, you know, sir. I'm talking so that you offer this to everyone, sir. One of the reasons why master take this direction is someone like me is what they will use, you know, as an example. And I'm not nobody's example. They'll make ideal out of me. I'm nowhere near ideal, sir. But if I love my kids, which I do, sir, I, I have two kids of my own and I have many, many kids, my, my disciples' children. If I love them, so I will not be an example for them to be, sir. I'd be the kindness for them to be themselves, sir. Isn't it? I'd be the strength for them to accept what they are. So now the terror of you being you, because the terror of being you happens because you are not just for you, you know. You are almost a public property, needs somebody else's approval. So the good man might not be that good, sir. If I say, I love you, sir, what am I saying, sir? I suspended my judgment, no, sir. I look at you for what you are. And I play a role in you living the best version of you. And suddenly this upflow energy, the Hindu calls it Kundalini or whatever you want to call it, this waking, this energy wakes up. And it holds its environment in celebration. Have you seen in a bad period, sometimes you wish you had some nice fellows? I tell you a story, I and my... One of my disciples and another guy had this cockamamie idea of taking a boat out to this particular place for, for fishing. Now when we think about it, we were definitely missing an Einstein moment. I think all of us missed our medication that day. But we really didn't have compass, it's one of those. And we were out there and we were out there and storms started hitting. It, it didn't happen, it happened about maybe less than seven, eight years ago. I mean, we thought, oh, we're going to, we, this is going to be the end of us. But all of us who are there, we like each other, we are fun people. You know what I mean? And I was thinking at one point, well, if we go down now, at least we go down laughing, guys. With buddies, you know, with laughing and everybody like, what the hell have we done, master? I said, me too, and you're going calling me master. The best part is when the boatman looks at you and says, can you on the phone and find, do you have a compass? That's when our hair stood up, you know. We thought the guy know what he's doing. So he's, he's driving blind. And storm was hitting and lucky we found a light. So at the end, one light and shore light and said, okay, that's the direction. It was a, but it was a wonderful trip until today we talk about it. When we all were sitting on the shore and looking at each other, well, Einstein, aren't we? Okay, live and learn, move on. We are perfect. We were silly. Kidding. So now you see, sir, if you allow me. This effort, this work, it's not about an ideal. It's to live the best version I can be. And we must acknowledge, you know, the ideas have ripped us apart. Not that we shouldn't have some ideal that we strive to. Yes, we become zero carbon emission. We must stop destroying the rainforest. We must regrow. I agree, the ideal is that. Right? That we all must comply to someday. But not at the act of suicide or an ego. Now what happens when I come here? My energy starts flowing and I'll explain it this way. 
first you are not somebody else's effect you realize i can affect my reality like how we were in the boat the waves was coming we were throwing water out but we were we were roasting each other and having the best time of our life i'm affecting even though the ocean is affecting us but we were affecting you know we were like boys let's do this we go down we go down in style man and the best part is out of the four plus the captain one guy the, the boy rowing five i'm the only guy who can swim i think the the the, the sea captain the, the the boy could swim but the other three they are telling me that time i can't swim very well i said either you can swim or you can't swim there's no i can't swim very well it's like technical notes you know like wrong time you're telling me what what's going on i said okay okay we'll try and the idea of hugging these three guys and drowning is not appealing not my version of the titanic but let's move on i'm i'm an effect sir i'm here i'm participating sir first the first chakra muladhara you want to call it second i work on facts not fantasy you understand i work on facts i work on what is and then the energy starts growing the third is one of the most beautiful one no the yes and no that everything should happen with your agreement is no human being can actually be raped you know you can abuse somebody you can never force somebody to say yes you know then it's not a yes i can put a gun and make you say something but you actually didn't say it yes is wholeheartedly we don't no, none of us have the power to make somebody say yes because if you cheat it it's still cheated the fourth is a bit of a tricky one that is the conditioning of this biology which is lazy I call it lazy this much more to it. That's when the heart. You know, you know what? You know when love happens when you're not lazy. If you really find out, why didn't I love that person? Why didn't I say, feel? You will bring it down to one simple thing, you know. Lazy. The moment laziness is not, you will love. You you will want to be a prophet to the world. You want to be an offering to the world. then the fifth is jam victory you begin in victory not you end in victory and what happens when i commit to live the best version of me the best version i can be my energy flows upwards sir and through that flowing of the energy upward every other mystical things will come to pass without education you don't need to know it happens most often it happens first then you figure out what is happening then i'm exhausting my living then i'm living the best version i can now i talk about i've been to many many places been in expensive yachts and done all of it but i still talk about that small boat with three of my friends understand and a a possible titanic ending that i'm glad didn't come to pass that will not go down that's not kate binslet trust me it's suresh mm -mm. so i guess in order to begin this can i hold all and then i allow myself there's a rule you know what i don't offer you i can never offer myself you know many people don't believe in it whatever you offer another you offer yourself so today if i can drop all ideas for a while I'm not saying ideas have no place they have but I make a commitment to live the best version of me and that is this work that is what I'm attempting to do I mean it no sir even though in my culture I'm a guru I I initiate people into enlightenment that's that's the end stage that's when somebody comes to it I have after so many years working I have 100 students that are are, are exploring that out of thousands and thousands of people now 
When I drop all the idea, I look at me, I see myself quite simply you now. Simply an existent, trying to exist the best version possible in this life. I don't know whether you have, I'm sure you have seen it, you know, you see it in a wall or in a street, you know, there's a, there's a bridge and there's a little leaf growing out, a little tree growing out. Have you seen it? Like, to me, those are the best photographs to take, you know, they're like, what are you doing here, baby? Like, and it will tell you the best I can. Now, why don't we offer that to us? I really want you to pay attention, sir. Maybe we, we didn't have kind people. I, I suspect, you know, if you've had, if, if I have this, I, I must attribute to my father, my grandmother, my martial art teachers, my gurus. They were kind to me, you know, kind. In this sense, you know, they helped me to accept. They understood where I was coming from. Maybe that's compassion. It's like, like a story, you know, if I want to give you an example of Jayam, I don't know why my grandmother comes to my mind. She loved me as a person that I was not then, you know. And if she knows she's alive, she's not. She met me now. She, I don't know, I hope I didn't disappoint her. But she'll say, that's the boy I loved. I saw it even then. You cannot love somebody for what they are, sir. You also see what they can be and you love it and you hold in trust. Not as a conditioning, but as honoring the other person. So today, can I invite you, can I invite you, can I invite you to be part of this for you and for all is simply paying attention to live the best version possible. They say Omicron is here in my country. Now the numbers have was down. Now it's back to 10,000, 20,000. God knows what is happening, but hopefully it blows over. You know, hopefully after all the vaccines we have taken, we will not develop a tail. Who knows? I'm not an anti-vaxxer, I got vaccinated, but I don't know, hopefully, but whatever comes, I and the three buddies in a boat, and I have been in those kind of pickle more than I wish to talk to you about. But we were roaring and say, let's do this, you know, come on, live the best version of me. If I have to go down, I go down blazing, you know, I'm going to living me. I always think the sign of a warrior is not, the, not, a, not a war that he wins, you know. How he fights a war that he will lose. And how would we stand there? And how we, would he live the best version of him in that final hour? It would be a romance I would romanticize if I had that inclination. Why the meeting with Master is strange is this, you know. I got nothing to sell. I'm not converting you to anything. And many times, you know, that's the way you love. You have to be like how your mother wanted, or your father wanted, or something, I don't know. And that's what is programmed to you. That's why when you love somebody, I'm not saying love is the most beautiful thing. It's rarely you get a chance, you know. It's an idea. But now you can be the cure of it. Live the best version of you. What is the best version? Given the situation, sir. And in order to live that, just, just memorize this six right. Just know it. I'm not an effect. Keep remembering I can effect it too. Don't hallucinate. Stay with facts. Facts are facts. And go on being very conscious of yes. Don't say yes when you have not said yes. Live non-violatedly. 
is what we have to offer women, you know. Deeply. A yes is a yes, a no is a no. But we have to hold them because we can bully them. They can be frightened. So-called man's world, right? The yes and no, sir. Next, we have to battle the biology. It's lazy. It's like going to the gym, you know. You let it go, the cheesecake slips in. Problem follows. Actually, that's my personal problem. Yeah. So I have to do something. It's very strange, you know. We have to exercise crazy. Evolution created us. Why did he give us six pack at all times? Some kind of glitch, you know. I think it, it, it needs us to do it. And the laziness is to conserve energy. It's somehow we got out of the forest and now, now we have to go to a gym. And then the fifth, jam. You are already that which you always want to be. Osho used to say that. No? You are already that which you always want to be. It's a beautiful statement. You are already that. It's there already. Just need some nurturing. Like within the seed, the tree is hidden. Now, if you are disappointed, sir, you are disappointed because of an idea, not because of you. You are perfectly fine. Then the sixth, you cannot have anything if you don't offer it to another. So if I do this for you, I'm rather being selfish. I'm doing it for myself. So you don't have to thank me, sir. I'm doing no favor to nobody. Because I have to offer it if I want it. To live the best version of me. My attainment is not an authority over you, sir. My attainment is the authority over the author that this is true, that's all. It's not an authority over you, nobody else can be. So maybe I can invite you, as you participate with your life, you participate for all to, to wake up to live the best version we can of ourselves given the situation, sir. And to be the cure, the healing for others too. And something happens, this I can promise. An energy will happen, you know. Then you find something to express that energy. It could be art, work, business, cultivation, something. This energy starts exploding and you want, you want to find some form of expression, that's life. I think in the seed love happens, then it grows and offers flower. It doesn't offer flower for love, you know, that love offers itself as a flower. And then let life bloom what it may. Why I say again and again, I'm a boy from a fishing village. I had no clue this is where I'll end up, you know. Honest to goodness, trust me. And in my early 20s, I even studied astrology close to a degree. And I tell you, I couldn't predict this. I could not. I didn't know. And I didn't even know almost everything that has unfolded. It's mysterious. It's such a joy. Sometimes I meet somebody and I like them. Do you know what a mystery that is for me? I have a Serbian priest in Sweden. You would have told me that 10 years ago, I would have fainted. But I'm in love. That's beautiful. I don't know. You understand? I have no idea. Because I don't have an idea. I'm not pursuing an idea, sir. I'm open for discovery. You understand? I didn't even know where Sweden was. I thought Sweden, Switzerland, all the same thing. To me, white people look alike. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> I didn't know. Now I have a temple in Sweden. I wonder what awaits. Like, I'm sitting in that boat now, you know. I'm sitting in that boat. Peter, I, I like Peter's expression. I'm sitting in that boat, Peter. And storm is brewing and I got buddies and I'm laughing and said, guys, let's do this. Hopefully we reach the shore or we pay back to the fish we have ate. Either way, we're going to get it right. And either way, I'm not going to judge or feel sorry for myself. I'm going to roar. 
victory or failure my personal victory is absolute i am not going to be beaten maybe i disappoint my mother that's her problem right i'm doing my best so am i talking about humanity sir being kind being kind i leave you with this today maybe you can celebrate this we hold ourselves to live the best version of ourselves as an offering for another to live the best version of themselves not as a condemnation to do the best we can and i think that's a good life lived you know it's an excellent life lived. I might not be an athlete to end up in Olympic but I'm over qualified for the special olympic. You can take that as a credit. And hopefully I die in laughter. I give you one last story I go this is just to brag. Once I was in India I came back as a funny place I stayed as fungal infection so I, I developed pneumonia. I was ending up in the hospital. bad pneumonia i think i was passing out and i used to call my disciples come and see master can die master can die is just a person that maybe i attained something but i'm just like you and me i can die i remember once my wife was on the one side i was holding her hand and the doctor was on the other side i was holding their hand and i was coughing and i was passing out and to me i thought i'm dying you know passing out passed out then i came to and i opened my eyes i told the doctor i'm back the doctor said i've never met anyone like you i said not a chance sir what else to do i told him i'm back the best version i can do at that time i'm choking what do you want me to do and that is yours you know nobody can take it away so can i leave you with this today i i put my hand together that we hold this for all not just for master even after this is done now that we hold this truth for everybody as a selfish act sir not to make anybody thank me so that i can live the best version of me can i can i leave you with that can whoever is organizing the honor if you can celebrate this truth today talk to you guys soon bye guys